welcome to all so my name is Mohit Gupta and uh, today I'm going to talk about a very interesting topic in uh, biology which is called the central dogma of life so first of all uh, it is very important for us to understand why this topic is very important now simply to understand this that why this uh, topic is very important we need to first understand about the modern biology and its applications in various sectors like medicine agriculture uh, yeah, I mean uh, and uh, fisheries again uh, in I mean stock improvement and all those so these all comes on under agriculture so basically there is a huge gigantic leaps uh, in biology when we talk about uh, a very primary stage when we were in the 90s while the human genome was being sequenced while that time central dogma was just introduced that what it is by Francis Crick in 70s and uh, later on in the 20th century it's been uh, I mean understood very well uh, that uh, how this central dogma works and what are all the components of the central dogma of the life and how we can utilize this central dogma to enrich or understand uh, or we can say enhance our understanding in uh, the fields of medicine, agriculture, fisheries, livestock improvement, etc., etc., to enhance the um, the outcome of this science. It, in enhancing the overall, I mean, uh, pr uh, productivity, reproducibility, for uh, well-being of humankind, mankind. I mean, for well-being of uh, nature, right? So this part was very important and is being very important playing a role we'll talk later in this video how this uh, concept of central dogma is very important in our uh, understanding and how it has uh, enriched or uh, enhanced our overall understanding in science for improvement of uh, let's say medicine which is very impro uh, important let's say there is a disease we call it cancer we cannot understand this disease cancer till we don't have any idea about what is central dogma okay because th when we talk about cancer cancer has major component that is the mutations and mutations work in the way to disrupt the overall function of a gene okay we'll come to all these concepts later when we talk about genetics but by disrupting the overall function of the gene so what mutation does is disruption of the functions of a gene and which can be altered phenotype which can lead to an altered phenotype and uh, may be causing some genotypic issues also which may in later stages of the life may induce the formation of this uh, gigantic disease we call as the cancer okay so this is just an example to understand why this central dogma is very important and how uh, it is uh, playing a vital role in our uh, in uh, enriching our understanding in diseases like cancer another important disease let us talk about one of other major diseases that is uh, that is uh, i mean we can't say it as very major disease but one of the disease is called as lactose intolerance you know it's so many of our pe uh, in the p uh, many of the peoples in human beings specifically i'm talking about homo sapiens they don't have this gene we call as lt gene due to this mutation in the LT gene which is wild type genotype gene that is found in specifically in uh, cat that leads to the digestion of the lactose 
so due to the disruption or let's say mutation in this lt gene can lead to a uh, phenotype where the lactose is not digested properly in the gut of the human being so it is specifically been seen in human being and it is wild type expressed in cat so from cat we have this gene lt lt which was formerly present in human beings right formerly present in homo sapiens but later on uh, due course of evolution this gene has got mutated and now we have lactose intolerant uh, species present in uh, i mean people's present in the homo sapiens species okay now to now to much more enhance our understanding how center dogma is influencing us let us talk about um, other diseases also okay let us talk about uh, one of the pr prominent diseases we call as obesity okay this is one of the prominent diseases and obesity is due to one of the gene which we call as dbdb okay this is the wild type phenotype and mutation in this gene that is i mean we can mention it like this this is the wild type phenotype which is uh, written like this dbdb and under the mutation it is 